Remember when you were a little kid and spring would start coming and you'd sit there and you'd wait for any break in the weather to get outside and play? That's me. That is me definitely right now. All I want to do is be outside. Well, it is February 2nd. This is just a short video because believe it or not, I am sick. I am sick as a dog. I need to uh, get back into bed. But I can't just ignore the babies in the greenhouse. They have to be watered. And they have to be checked. So I take my coffee, I'll go in here, check them, and then go straight back to my comfortable little bed. Oh, let's see. Hey, babies. Is anybody up? Let's see what we have left. We have uh, polono peppers, phlox, balloon flower, milkweed, eggplant, cypress. Cypress? No. Oh, no. Cayenne, peppers, cutting celery, apples. I don't have a whole lot of hope for these, but that's okay. Fuchsia, butterfly pea, Japanese maple, powwow echinacea, and black pansies. I thought the black pansies would be up. The zinnias and marigolds are super happy. Everybody else looks pretty good these uh these candy stripe balsams are growing second leaves i'm a little concerned with the mini bok choy because here i'll show you in good light there's some yellow around those uh around those cotyledons and i don't know why They've had the same treatment as all the rest of them. Whether there's a fungal or a bacterial issue somewhere in the greenhouse or that may have uh, actually come in on the seeds. I don't know, except that these are the same seeds I've had. And the other, the other seasons I haven't uh, had any issues. Could be that those uh, two little blocks just didn't get enough water at some point. The cosmos were happy. Half the basil is up. Uh, still only one curled parsley, but that's okay. Oh, rose poppies are just going nuts. So these, these look good. I'll give them a little bit of water. Everything just gets water today. Everything got fed yesterday. Spinach, happy. Happy, happy spinach. Yep, and this one's uh, going nuts. That one's going nuts. This one needs a little bit of a, just a little bit of time. And uh, this one didn't have a very big one. So in just a day, this has uh, grown quite a big second leaf. So they're good in the greenhouse, unfortunately. When I get up in the mornings right now, it's still just at freezing. I'm getting reports of uh, 32 or 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I hope these, is, I'm hoping that this is just variegation and not uh, 
not fungal issues. Happy. Remember, these are all Yonimus, and here are the rosemary. Looking good. They're they are looking good. They're they're growing. Most of them should be uh should be all right. I really hate to leave the greenhouse, and there is nothing that uh, sprouted overnight. But I I really have to even just doing this. I'm exhausted. So uh, here we go. We'll just do the calendar, and then I'm gonna get my butt back into bed. Two. Oh, we didn't do the first. Oh yes, we did do the first, but I haven't uh, haven't taken it off, have I? There we go. February second. The groundhog, Marmota monax, is a member of the squirrel family, and it can climb trees. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? A woodchuck chuck could chuck wood. Uh, it'll chuck from the top all the way down. I don't know if we have any groundhogs in Oregon. That would be an interesting thing to look up. What do you guys know about groundhogs? I'd like to know. Get to make some potting soil today. Potting soil today. Potting soil today. Finally get to make some potting soil today. To make some potting soil. Potting soil. Potting soil. Potting soil. Potting soil. to clean today we get to clean today we get to clean today <laughs> before I make potting soil it is filthy in here I can't be making potting soil on this now this has to be swept it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be but uh, it's still pretty disorganized good morning it is Monday February 6th 2023 and a baby alpaca is called a Kriya. Isn't that cute? Alright. Let's see. Anybody up? Anybody up? Hi. Um. Uh, nope. It's just green perlite. I don't see anybody. Spinach. Happy, happy spinach. Super happy spinach. Look at all those brand new leaves. I'm gonna have spinach in no time. And whoop. Marigolds definitely get transplanted today. A lot of this. A lot of this is gonna get transplanted today. And shrubs are doing the yonimus budding. Uh Leaves, nice tender, but leaves, leaves, lavender, leaves, this is iffy, but it is budding, it is budding, ah, how did you get in here, you little bugger, you've been hiding out, haven't you? Well, you can't be in here. You're just going to eat all my profits. You have to go. You have to go. You can go. There we go. He'll be happy down there. Plenty to eat. Weeds. Weeds to eat. Uh, one, I don't, these, these are the fuchsia, these are the, uh, I didn't think these were going to come up, but they're actually up and they're growing all right. Hiss up. Ah, another butterfly pea. Excellent. Those are expensive little seeds. Milkweed's starting to come up nicely. Cutting celery. Got some, uh, double, 
Got some second leaves there and second leaves there. I'm gonna have to do a little reorganization in here and uh, start more stuff, but mostly transplanting today. All right, well, I got it neat and tidy and I switched the floor clean. Mm. I'm only gonna do one small batch of potting soil today. I don't have a whole lot of things that need to be transplanted. And I don't want to waste time doing things I don't have to do. Ah. Premier peat moss is always the way to go. Anybody remember the ratio? Peat moss or coco coir to compost and perlite. Ah, what else am I missing? I think I'm missing some fertilizer. All right, fertilizer. It's going to need to be two heaping tablespoons of this per gallon. So what I'm going to have to do is fill up this five gallon bucket before I put the fertilizer in so I know how many tablespoons I'm going to need. This is, uh, this is actually a bigger one than I'm usually used to using, but uh, kind of pressed for time. Okay, I think uh, one more compost, one more peat moss. I love it when the peat moss is fresh out of the bag. It's so easy to handle. After, after it dries out, hard as a rock, and really hard to get wet again. I'll have to remember to put a bag over this to prevent moisture loss as much as possible this time. So I will need one full of these with perlite. Here. Out of the way, 
cardboard. This is uh, what's left last year's bag. I did get a new bag because this is not going to go very far. bucket two tablespoons per gallon means let me just double check two heaping tablespoons per gallon of potting soil so that's going to make 10 tablespoons one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And <clears throat> shovel. overestimated a little. Good enough. Ah, time to go transplant. All right. Well, I think I'm ready. But believe it or not, I'm not going to start with these. I'm actually going to start with these. I have here a pack of marigolds and I have some bachelor buttons that are well on their way. What I'm going to do is start by forcing these as fast as I can to grow as well as they can in here in the greenhouse so that hopefully by the time I start selling these little marigolds will be flowering. That would really help because I know without a shadow of a doubt if you make it pretty they will come. If people actually see the flowers that they're gonna try to buy they will buy them. this but I do need to get it a little wet it is it's not very wet it's a little moist but not enough and yeah I'm not using my hands this year I'm using my gloves I'm tired of getting splinters under my fingernails entirely clump but uh, it's nice if it just forms a bit of a clump. Hey hey you behave towards each other that the sparrows are getting really really nasty to each other now that uh, mating season looks like it is about to begin. They're chasing each other off but welcome Matt. There we go. Now these are little things so I can't Obviously, I can't overcrowd them. Oh. 
And I need a stick. the button. Will, of course, become a parent. There we go. Uh, and check out those roots. Yes, these are definitely ready to get transplanted. Not only that, I watered these late last night and these are very light, which means they really, really sucked up that water. Maybe uh, one marigold, one bachelor button. That ought to do nicely. Pick a big one. Big bachelor button. Oh my goodness. Those roots are just so ready to go. It's amazing how fast the seedlings will grow given half a good chance. At this point I really don't have to worry about those very first two leaves, the cotyledons. You can bury them, but I try not to bury the, the bud. Here we go. That is my first display completed. Let's do one more. These are the teddy bear marigolds. They're really impressive, fast growing. Uh, I think I'm only gonna have room for a marigold in this one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stress these out too much because I want them to grow as fast as possible. A little bit of water and these are done. All right. I don't have any more pots ready, so I guess the cups are going to have to do. There we go. I'm not putting dates on these this year. It's just, uh, it's pretty useless. This is going to go into the spare <clears throat> into the spare seedling bucket and that will go into the potting soil. I can't reuse these for seedlings because I've already planted seeds in them. If they happen to sprout later on, I don't want to mistake them for I don't want to mistake them for bachelor for bachelor buttons that I previously planted in here and confuse them with uh, with things that I might put in there next. I will reuse this plastic one because I have lots of bachelor button seeds left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more marigolds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need more potting soil. And these are gonna have to be teased apart carefully so I don't damage the roots too much.
If ever you find it's really, really difficult to get the roots apart, you don't have to pull them apart. Put them in a glass of water and dunk them and they'll easily come apart. I don't like to handle them by the stems because the stems are actually fragile and they should have a good amount of root like that. <clears throat> there we go. like that. Gloves are hard to work with though. Uh, hard to work with. Oh no, roots. Roots go down, roots don't go up. Even this little one the smallest of the batch has plenty of roots on it. All right. Make up some sticks for these. And then I can put the rest of this potting soil back in the bucket. And then get to my day job. All right. A little bit of water for you. And a little bit of water for you. And, and, and. I know y'all look a little limp right now. It's okay. You'll get better in no time. Ah, oh, last of all, it is graduation day for some of these babies. This lavender, the strongest lavenders and the strongest yonimuses will stay out here now on the deck, sheltered, but on the deck where they can receive sunshine now that the nights are, are fairly up towards about 40 degrees. and. All of these have brand new sprouts and brand new leaves, so the sun should do them some good. Did I say that was my last thing to do? What I meant was, I'll keep finding reasons to come out here all day long so I don't have to go inside and work on the computer. <laughs> Look what I found. Two more planters. I gotta fill them up now, just gotta. What I'm gonna fill them up with is Simpson lettuce and bib lettuce. Oh, and the one solitary spinach that's last in the pot. I can do this before I run out of space in the memory card. Maybe I'll make enough to actually get a proper memory card this year. All right. Spinach. Luckily, spinach really doesn't look too much like like lettuce. There we go. You'll be all right there. 
up with the Simpson lettuce with the spinach. And two should do it. Lettuce is always nice for a show-off plant because it grows fast. There we go. There's number one. And big lettuce. If I didn't need all the rainbow flowers, I'd actually put a flower, probably a cosmos, in with this bib lettuce. Because the bib lettuce turns so dark, it'll look great with that orange cosmos. And lettuces are fantastic container plants. Productive and forgiving. And there is lettuce pot number two. Now I really am done. Maybe. <laughs>